My name is Rhapsody of Realities. Hello, welcome to today's edition of Rhapsody of Realities Reading Party. God bless you. Today is Thursday, 25th March, our year of preparation. And our theme today is Dominate Your World. Our theme scripture today is from Colossians chapter 2, verse 20. Wherefore, if ye be dead with Christ from the rudiments of the world, why, as though living in the world, are ye subject to ordinances? Pastor Chris says, our opening verse lets us know that we are not subject to the principles of this world. Jesus dominated this world. He lived above the decadence of the world, the corruption and failure of his society. He lived far above and beyond the government and systems of the day when he walked the earth. That is the life he's given us. One that is not subject to, but lord over the rudiments of this world. He's made us self-sufficient to function above and beyond the systems of this world. He said, you are in the world, but not of the world. That means you are to dominate the systems and corrupting influences in today's world. Many around you may be influenced and provoked to compromise as a result of the deceit, corruption and wickedness in today's world, but not you. You hail from God's kingdom. Say, I hail from God's kingdom. And your life is built on and regulated by His truth only. Keep learning God's word. It will make you think and talk like Jesus. In John chapter 16 verse 33, He said, This Things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Have the same consciousness, because he, overca he overcame the world for you. Although he lived in a world plugged by gross darkness, this is economic hardship. sickness, oppression, deaths, disasters, etc. He had a victor's mindset, the kind he expects you to function with. When you face challenges, persecutions, distressing situations, turbulence, turbulent times, trials, and temptations be unruffled because in Christ you have overcome the world. First John chapter 4, verse 4. Let this consciousness reflect even in your prayer language. It makes no difference the challenges you face. When you pray, declare that in the name of Jesus you've overcome the world and its systems, its hatred, this is poverty, corruption, depression, falsehood, and antichrist spirit. Hallelujah. For further studies, you read 1 John chapter 5, verse 4 to 5, Psalm 8, verse 4 to 6. If you are on the one-year Bible reading plan, you read the scriptures down the one-year Bible reading plan. If you're on the two-year Bible reading plan, you also follow the scriptures down the two-year Bible reading plan. It's confession time. In faith, say these words with me. I live and function above and beyond the systems of this world. I'm independent of the hardship, corruption, evil and deceit in the world because I live in Christ.
in his word and in the dominion of the Spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, Oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised Him from the dead and He's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in Him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. March 27th, 2020, almost a year ago, a memorable day for the body of Christ and the world at large. Saints of God were reawakened to take the place in the earth. The day we began to change the course of things on the earth. It brings to mind Genesis chapter 1 verses 2 to 3. The earth was barren with no form of life. It was under a roaring ocean covered with darkness. But the Spirit of God was moving over the water. God said, I command light to shine and light started shining. Glory to God. It's the fifth edition of the Global Day of Prayer with Pastor Chris. The victory of the church in this past year has known no boundaries through faith-filled proclamations. Get yourself ready for the church is marching on. Join Pastor Chris for another Global Day of Prayer starting Friday the 26th of March 2021 at 6 p.m. GMT plus 1 1 p.m. Eastern till Saturday the 27th of March 2021 showing across all leveled networks and social media platforms God bless you